guys, welcome to this video tutorial about Adobe Premiere. I've been using Adobe Premiere for a little over a year now, and there are some features which are really helpful when you're editing videos, but are uh, kind of difficult to get to know when you're first using the software. So I'm making tutorials just like I do for my 3ds Max tutorials, but then for Adobe Premiere. Today I want to show you how you can easily sync your video and audio when, you, uh, n when you're not using the uh, normal uh, sync audio button and you really want to get a right sync. Now, I have this video clip from a, from a video podcast I'm making and I'm recording the audio for that podcast on a different device. So I have uh, a video stream with an audio because the camera has a microphone and I have a few audio clips for the different microphones that are over here. Uh, I've imported one. Uh, when I import this, um, it is in sync because uh, the recorder is turned on on a different time than the camera. So I have to sync uh, the audio. Now, I have clapped in my hands when we're making this recording, like you can see here. So I know that there's a hard kick somewhere and um, this stream is from my microphone this is gonna pick up really hard so it's probably this thing right here and when I'm kind of eyeballing this I can see that the other waveforms are pretty much aligned and the same yeah the same things are here so this is pretty good when I'm listening to it it's gonna be echoey but yeah. okay. Right. okay so there's a double clap here because I it's not really sync and I can zoom in and I can Kind of okay, so this is pretty good, but still you can see it's off because you can only well now you can only drag the waveform by frames. So if I put it to the left, it's gonna do one frame to the left, and if I'm gonna put it to the right, it's one frame to the right. But maybe I want to get closer. Now there is a function in Adobe Premiere which allows you to do that. You can access it by right-clicking on the timeline and going to Show Audio Time Units. Now, the Audio Time Units is over here and you can see all kind of digits. But the cool thing is that now you can actually zoom further in and just drag the waveform. You can move way more units than you can previously have. And now you can just sync it by eye. And now it's probably just one clap. So I'm still going to mute to this uh, first audio because it's pretty noisy. But now I have, well, well, I I would say perfect sync. Maybe it's not a perfect sync. But this is one way to sync your audio without using the select your files and right-clicking to synchronize because sometimes it just doesn't work. And then you have to sync on something somebody says or anything. And this is really helpful to do. So hope this helps. I'm going to make a lot of other tutorials when I'm coming across cool features, so stay tuned to that. Bye.